Hello, 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 Pre-K-4 friends. Today's book is titled, Hello, Summer. The author is Shelley Rotner. Are you ready? Summertime is almost here. Spring green leaves grow bigger and turn greener. The days are getting warmer and longer. The sun is strong and hot. We wear hats, sunglasses, and sunblock. We go barefoot in the grass. Fluffy white clouds dot deep blue skies. And then it's the longest day of the year, the first day of summer, the summer solstice. We're hot and thirsty. We drink lemonade and lots of water and eat watermelon, ice cream, and popsicles. So what do all those things do? They keep us cool, right? I could go for some watermelon now. Sometimes dark clouds move in and there's a thunderstorm. It's cooler after the rain. We don't always like the rain, but our plants do. Water and sun help our gardens grow and flowers bloom. Look at all the pretty colors. And this looks like a vegetable garden. These are vegetables. Looks like some tomatoes and some lettuce. And then these are flower gardens. Bees collect pollen. Butterflies sip nectar. Dragonflies land and fireflies flash in the early night sky. So we've seen all these things in other books that we've read this year. And now it's getting to be summer. We celebrate summer with fireworks, picnics, and barbecues. Berries ripen and are ready to eat. Blackberries, raspberries, blueberries, and strawberries. Plums and peaches too. Aren't those delicious looking? So we could eat the rainbow. We play outside in parks and playgrounds and go to county fairs. We go to the beach. Seagull, seagulls soar. Crabs creep. Waves crash. We jump and surf, dig and build. We find treasures. So look at the treasures they found. And then they use them over here. Some treasures they've used there with seaweed, feathers, rocks, and seashells. We cool down in sprinklers and at water parks. Doesn't that look fun? We swim and float in pools and explore ponds. Also, so much fun. Ducks dive for food, salamanders crawl, turtles sit and sun, and frogs leap. In summer, animals need to eat a lot to grow. You see that frog? He's hiding right there on the lily pad. We enjoy nature. We fish and camp, boat and bike, or just relax. It's a great way to relax with a book. In late summer, the days get shorter and the nights cooler. The leaves start to turn different colors. And then autumn is here. Do you remember way back when school started? We would read books about autumn and pumpkins and apples. And that's the end of this story.